Good morning everybody, Vanessa Kim here. Today I'm doing a fun video for you. It's going to be on getting it right for your casual look. Now last week I did a casual look, which was basically just a dress that I got from the hippie shop, which was a tent-like dress, and it did absolutely nothing for me. And then I tied it from the inside to create a knot. Tied it with an elastic band, and then that gave me draping. And I actually did it on the side where my uh, just above my hip and that's what pulled it all in so if you haven't seen that video yet I'll leave a link below and you can actually catch up with that one by the way thank you so much for joining me I have to say that the channel's doubled in the last month which is all because of you and your support and your wonderful comments and helping one another with figuring out our style because God knows it's a very difficult task when we can't get our fashion right it's not the end of the world. There's more important things in the world than our clothes, but it goes a hell of a long way to helping us feel good about ourselves every day. And when we feel good, we eat well, we treat other people well, we treat ourselves well. So there's always different paths that lead to wellness. And I do believe that getting your style right is one of those ways. So thank you very much. By the way, if you haven't joined yet, please subscribe and click the bell to get notified for my videos. Love, love having you here. So today I'm going to talk again about casual wear because it's a real problem for soft dramatics. And the number one issue here is that the moment we see people like Christina Hendricks go from a ball gown to a casual wear, it seems to fall apart as much as I love Christina Hendricks and we're seeing her out on the street. So obviously the photography and the, the cameras and the professionalism of the shots aren't there. But still we can see that the fashion isn't congruent with the ball gowns when she's getting styled with her Valentino gowns and her Dior's and so on. So what we need to look at is, and I'm doing this with all love, it's nothing against any of the superstars, but I'm using them as an example of showing that even they are struggling. The ones that Kibi has verified as soft dramatic, Rachel Feast, Barbara Streisand. We can see what they've been doing right with the ball gown and then what happens when they wear casual. I'm also going to show you an outfit of mine and compare it with something that's two things that aren't right so that you can get your eye in for your body type. Though I'm a soft dramatic, I'm trying to get people to look at their bodies in a different way so that they start creating a certain shape for themselves. And we're not talking about the apple, the pear, the hourglass. We're not talking about trying to change your body into something else. This is a really horrible thing that some fashion stylists do. So you're an oblong, so we need to make you into an hourglass. Or you've got a short waist or a long waist, so we need to change that. No, you must not do that. You've got to work with your lines. And when you work with your lines, you'll just look like you. Trust me, you'll look amazing. And you are amazing. So that's what I want you to start seeing in yourself if you haven't already. I know a lot of women have that are on this channel, but a lot still haven't. And I was one of them, right? All I ever saw was a big fat belly and I never realized that I was actually long. And now that I'm starting to see that, it's sort of like when you're looking at number plates and all you're looking for is the letter V and that's all you see. And then you start looking for the letter A and that's all you see. So whatever you're focused on is what you're going to see. And so now I see myself actually as I am and I can't get over it. It's like I've lost 10 kilos, 15 kilos, honestly. It's actually incredible. I'm gonna put a photo up of Rachel Vicks. We're wearing a similar outfit and show you the difference there. Um, I'm 30 kilos heavier than Rachel Vicks. I'm 89 kilos, 87 to 89 kilos. So there's a big difference there, right? And when I'm wearing the right clothes, I do not look like that weight. Honestly, I don't. I've stopped worrying about it. It's amazing. Okay, so one of the biggest issues is with the casual wear, if you don't get it right, because casual wear tends to be about pants, jeans, or tights. 
and it also tends to be about maybe a casual dress with a little jacket over the top. Now the moment we start wearing a denim jacket like Rachel Feast is doing in this one, you can see that that's the natural jacket over that, which isn't quite right. You can also see she's wearing an A-lined a skirt, which still isn't right, though it's nearly right. If she could just get it curving in a little bit more, taking a bit off the sides, down the bottom, down the knee, what she's going to do is highlight her thigh and her hip. And the moment she does that, she creates the right shape for herself because that is actually her shape. So she's dressing to her shape. The top that's underneath that jacket is fine because it's blending in with the skirt color. And I always say, don't color block and be really careful with patterns. If you are wearing a pattern and another color, be sure that it's almost identical so that when the eye looks, it just looks straight down as it's one color. Now, if you have another look at Rachel Vesa's other outfit with the stripes on her and tucked into the jeans, and it's two, it's different colors, and also the stripe is too geometrical for her. When you look at that, you could just see that it's just not working for her. And so we've got to figure out what we can do for casual wear that's going to work for us. Now, one of the biggest issues is around the tummy area, okay? Because for a soft dramatic, we put weight on around our tummies and our waist and our arms. So if you are a very slim, um, a slim kibby body type, and whilst I'm saying the shape doesn't change of what you're wearing, there's certain things that obviously look a little bit more put together. So if you've got very toned arms and you've gone to the gym and the tone, arms are very toned and you are at a normal, well, normal weight, whatever that is, but if you're at a weight which feels very comfortable to you, you'll probably get away with sleeveless and you'll probably get away with even, you could even probably wear something that shows more of the, the shoulder. But if you are a typical soft dramatic, you're putting weight on around the arms. So flabby arms are probably not going to give you the look that you want if you've got that. So I don't tend to wear things that are um, sleeveless because it doesn't give me the look that I want. But also the reason, the main reason, okay, so I'm still getting over those aspects of myself, but they are genuinely what happens with the soft dramatic when we put weight on. Now, think about what I've been saying to you about creating a long line for yourself that's all one colour. And we just saw Rachel Feast where she wasn't wearing one colour. Now, the reason that you also want to wear a longer line of clothing, so from the knee down with your clothing, is because you're creating one long line. Now, the same goes for the T up here. We're wanting foremost to have a T silhouette. And so this has to be set up as strong, okay? Now, if, you're, if you want, you can add some shoulder pads that are slightly rounded to give yourself that strong shoulder. That is the number one thing Kibby says you have to do for a soft dramatic. Now, the issue is when you start to wear thin little tops, you are not creating a T here. Now, some people say, oh no, you are because you're showing your skin and that's what's giving you that strong shoulder and T. No, that's not. And you're more than likely a natural, one type of natural if you're thinking that way because you happen to have very strong shoulders for a natural, flamboyant natural or even a soft natural or a natural. But for the soft dramatic, when you wear thin little shoestring straps, what you're doing is you are subtracting from your tee. Just like when you're not wearing a color that goes all the way down, when you start to show too much leg, you're subtracting from the length. Now, the only other way around that is, if you've seen Sophia Loren wearing really short shorts, 
she can get away with it, we can get away with that actually, because what we're doing is our leg becomes the long line. And so that shorts, that's gotta be really short, is actually almost like a dropped waist top. So if you're wearing the same color top and the same color shorts and they're short, it just looks like a short shirt and then your legs become the outfit. And that's why you can get away with really short shorts for a soft dramatic. Nobody really talks much about that. But that's because the waist is, we've, we've got a, a drop waist kind of look with the top because soft dramatics can wear a drop waist. But if you're doing this where you've got one color going here and then you've got a shoulder, the only part of the shoulder that's being seen is that little strap and that is not creating a T. So I'll just show you now what I mean. So you can see here that these little thin straps do absolutely nothing for me and then the arms are not gonna work. So this is not going to work as a casual look. So this is the frustrating thing about what we see on Pinterest when uh, we go and look on soft dramatic. It's very frustrating that all the soft dramatics have got these kind of small little tops and things. We're not wearing them. That's not the right thing for a soft dramatic. So be careful on Pinterest because the advice is actually wrong. We need strength here. We need to create a T here. Now, the other thing I wanna point out is we're creating a long line. Now, the reason we're creating a long line is because we are a long line. We're a long vertical line. And so one of the things that gets broken up, and this is why at first I couldn't work out, why the hell do we look so nice in dressed up clothes, but we don't look nice in casual clothes? And there's thousands of women saying that, that are soft dramatic. Well, the reason being is because what happens, the moment we put on jeans, we're actually cutting our line. Now I'm going to do something that I never do, which is show you how, oh, I, I can't even bear having my top up like this, but I'm gonna show you for the sake of us all being helped. <laughs> okay, so when I have this, look at this, okay? And this is what I used to hate about myself. All right, and the reason that this happens is because I'm not creating a long line. So what happens is our line might be broken up with two different colors. This is almost okay, but it should be charcoal. But our line is broken up with other things. This breaks our line up, it's very evident, and the crutch breaks up the line. The, this whole line here is breaking up your line because in actual fact we're trying to create that but what we're getting is that okay what we want is that but we don't want this this is not good enough and I'll show you what I mean so what I've got is a beautiful knit light knit really soft fabric but it's got a knit it's a light knit it's got a v-neck it's got a knot here which is creating folds these folds are so important and then it comes in at the waist and then it comes down to the crotch and what that does is it keeps the line going all the way down. The shoulders are so much stronger and a proper T. And if I wanted, I could create another band here to give it another fold if I wanted to do that. But as you can see, we're creating the line. So I hope this has helped and you have figured out some of the problems that are going wrong with the casual wear. And so if you incorporate soft knits that are long to the crotch, 
that come in at the waist. You can have your straight leg jeans or your skinny jeans. Be sure that they are showing off your hip and a little bit below the hip onto the thigh, almost down to the knee before there's any flaring out. You can flare out at the knee as well, um, but it must be very well fitted, almost tight around the hips and around the top of the thigh before you actually flare out. I hope this helps. Um, you can add some nice big earrings and add a bracelet and then keep your makeup simple and keep it quite casual. Um, I just wore it with little flat shoes. You'll see that in the thumbnail. They're from Zara actually, beautiful little shoes. Okay, have a lovely week everybody. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do so and click the bell. Love you so much. Have a great week. Bye.